How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and in this quick RPG Maker MV tutorial we're going to learn about the Terrax kill switch. So the point of this tips and tricks video is just to show you uh, an easy way to make toggleable lighting in your game. So uh, I'll put a link in the description below where you can get the Terrax lighting plugin and all you have to do is create an, uh, any event and put something in the note tag for it to work. So we've got light, that's the keyword we're using, and then the number is going to put the range, like how, how wide is the circle. So the higher the number here, the more light it's going to give off. After that, we're going to put a space and a hex code. So hex color codes, um, they're base 16, so you can use 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. Uh, and you can use any of those combinations of letters of num letters and numbers, and you're going to in input six uh, digits to create colors. Uh, I highly recommend just going to Google and type in hex color code picker or something, and you'll be able to find the color you're looking for pretty quickly. So once you've figured out the color you want, you just put it in here. Uh, after that, you're going to create a new event that's going to have an image of, of a torch or a lantern or something, and then you're going to select one that's got uh, some images if you would like it to to like animate as well. So if you would like it to animate, you need to check on stepping. So I've got uh, only two things checked here. I've got stepping and direction fix. And what direction fix does is it disallows it from uh, changing to another uh, image depending on what direction you talk to or interact with the, the event from. So direction fix means it's always going to have this image no matter if you talk from the top, the bottom, the right, left. And stepping is going to have it animating. Um, you can also control how fast it animates by adjusting these parameters here. So you can have it animating really fast if you up the frequency um, and uh, the speed. Uh, inside the event, we're basically just going to do a show choices that says turn off the lantern and then leave the lantern on. Um, you can put as many choices as you want, obviously. Uh, when the player selects the choice to turn off the lantern, we're going to do a control self switch. Now, in order to know what uh, self switch we want to turn on or turn off, it's going to be uh, in the parameters of your Turax Lightning. So the link for this plugin will be in the description. You scroll down, you're going to see kill switch. So this right here, you can change it to A, B, C, or D. Um, and then you just put in whatever one you want. I'm using D. So inside of here, I'm turning on self switch D when they say turn off the lantern. When they say leave it on, nothing needs to happen. So then we create a new page on this image. We're going to do the same thing, but we're not going to animate this one. So we're going to have it not stepping. We're just going to have a direction fix. And then we're going to select the image of it being turned off or uh, not illuminated. So we have this one that's animating for when it's on. And then when it's off, it's just going to go to this one. And that's basically it. So inside the second page, you have like uh, the inverse happening. You've got it, uh, the show choices that says turn on the lantern or leave the lantern off. Um, default and all that is all up to you. But when they say turn on the lantern, then we're going to turn off uh, sw self switch D, which is going to put us back to page one. So it'll be on and off and this will just toggle back and forth. And you can change the color and how bright it is right here. So that's pretty much it. It's really simple. Let's take a look at that. Uh, in game. So we can see that the player has a light radius around the player. I've also got a light radius around the entrance to the cave, but you can see the lantern has its own light that it's giving off. If we interact with it and we turn off the lantern, then it stops animating and it no longer gives off the lighting. So this is a simple way to, to make a lantern uh, you can use this in your game in many different ways, changing the color. And let's do something crazy. Let's uh, let's make it super bright. Let's go 750, and let's just pick some random colors. We're gonna say F26 uh, or FF2651. I have no idea what color that is. It's probably gonna be some sort of light color, maybe green. I don't know. But like I said, go to Google and color pick and uh, you can select whatever colors you want. So there, by doing 750, you can see the radius is pretty large, and that color we put in made it red. So uh, it looks pretty pretty red in here. If we turn this off, 
And there it goes. So that's going to do it for this quick tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, brief kill switch tutorial on how to toggle lights on and off with TRX lighting. If you enjoy this quick short form tutorial, um, tips and trick video, give this video a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, that'd be awesome. Um, if you would like to work with other people and maybe start a project, you can go to driftwoodgaming.com. You don't have to, but networking is going to help you. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.